Hey, this is Red Band, coming to you live from the World Famous Comedy Store for a brand new episode of Kill Tony, Volume 4. Here's Tony Hinsley. Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome. How are you guys? Hello. Happy Monday to you. Welcome to the number one live comedy podcast in the world, Kill Tony. Hey, it's Brian Redband, everybody. Come on. Hi, guys. How you doing? Who it is. Master of sound effects and other crazy shit. Poop. Butts. Ryan J. E. Belt House Artist is here. He has a blank sheet of paper in front of him, and he's going to draw tonight's episode for you. All of his prints are available at RyanJEbelt.com, including the Kill Tony poster, everybody, hanging for the first time tonight. Just hanging out. It's also on my living room wall, so you could be a badass like me and get the official Kill Tony poster. Get it framed like a goddamn adult. Put it on your wall. Jamie Vernon's back there on the HD camera. Young Jamie. Young Jamie. Got a cool new T-shirt out. Yeah. Laney and Jerry are here, House Muppets, yeah. uh, ever since the show started three and a half years ago. They've been fucking coming. My mom, my dad, they're never here. Laney and Jerry, always here. They never give an, get enough credit. Fang Chow watching us tonight, keeping us safe. Kill Tony uh, legend, Fang Chow. All right, so let's just get into it, shall we? Yeah, let's get that band up. Oh, shit, I'm in Australia the end of October and uh, Boston, October 8th at the Wilbur Theater. Now that I got that out of the way, let's start the show, shall we? Mm -hmm. Bring up the band? What do you sure, think? Sure, let's do it. I'm always excited. The band, I never know what they're going to do. It's always a different uh, different thing that they throw together in between time of being out and in. And here we are, this week's version, my favorite band in the world, the Kill Tony Band. It's Reagan and Watkins and Joel Jimenez. Oh, shit. I think I know what's going on here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. Oh, it is Trump and Hillary. And Joel Jimenez appears to be the wall. Yeah. That is incredible. Trump, you really did get a Mexican to build the wall. That's very impressive. Oh, there's Josh Martin out of nowhere. Guess who's opening up for me at the Wilbur Theater October 8th in Boston? It's Josh Martin, everybody. Oh, nice. Uh, Reagan and Watkins, or should I say, I believe this is our second appearance ever of the great Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Put hands together for one of the future presidents of the United States of America. Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, and the wall. You know what, Tony? <laughs> you know what, Tony? Yeah, you know, I heard L.A. Podfest was underwhelming. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. So, uh, me, Donald Trump, ready to make Kill Tony great again. Wow. Wow. What is Hillary? Uh, Hillary, what do you have to say about all this? Thank you. I just have one thing to say. Oh, oh spot on Hillary, by the way. Um, I think that Donald Trump promotes xenophobia why does donald trump have so much fear of xena warrior princess oh my god i totally <laughs> i, I want to know swear to god oh. i knew somehow the second you said xenophobia <laughs> that it was going to be a xena warrior princess joke tony <laughs> Go I, ahead. I, I knew she was a bad politician i didn't know she was a bad comedian <laughs> <laughs> oh. wow you know it's the real trump and hillary when he's taking shots uh, let me ask you guys this. You guys had a big debate tonight. How'd you guys feel about it? I owned it. <laughs> Hillary? I kicked his ass. Wow. Oh, very good. Uh, let me ask you guys a debate question, if you don't mind. I know this is improvised right now. I, sw I swiped, I swept, I swept the floor with his bare, sweaty ass. All right, Hillary, uh... I mean, I'm going to have to cut you off. Go ahead. D Donald, do you want to rebuttal there? Hillary really just showing her true colors here. Not fit to run for president even. What has she been doing with ISIS? I mean, she's been going after for a long time. I'm going to deliver the results. How, how are you going to do that? I'm going to kill all of them. <laughs> Donald Trump. Donald Trump with a, with, a, with a rim shot afterwards might be the perfect candidate uh, for president. Let me ask you guys one debate question, and uh, Donald, you can answer first. Uh, Donald, what what is your favorite part of uh, the Kill Tony uh, podcast? And how do you, let me ask you more specifically: How do you feel about the band uh, Reagan and Watkins? Uh, the band, I'm not that big of a fan of myself, uh, but 
I am a fan of Vanessa Johnston. She reminds me of Ivanka. <laughs> and if she wasn't my daughter, I would date her. <laughs> Hillary, uh, what's your response to that? I wasn't listening to what he said. You guys ready to start the fucking show or what? Here we go. It's happening right now. Tonight's guest, as always, I always deliver two of the funniest human beings in the world. Here we go again. Put your hands together for the great Mike Lawrence and Willie Hunter. Roast battle champion. Comedy Central Roast Rider. Member of the wave of Roast Battle. Creator of the Carmichael Show. So many great credits amongst them. One of my favorites being that they're two of my funniest pals. Now, I'm not usually a fan of black people, but I love Willie Ooh. Hunter. Whoa, Jesus. You're really really on it tonight, Brian. Uh, Mike, if you want to scoot down a little bit, you guys can scoot down. Willie's yeah, wearing sure shorts. I feel like we're really invading whoever gets pulled up here out of the buckets. Uh, your balls are basically halfway out. Yeah, I know. Out, really. I, I, sh I didn't know. Want to get behind the table a little bit? Scoot down, Mike. I just Come love on. that that uh, Reagan as Hillary just looks like Rod Stewart. <laughs> 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 just normal <Yeah>. Rod Stewart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Think I got something to say to you? <laughs> hey, do a much better uh, Rod Stewart than a Hillary Clinton. I'll tell you that. That's what I've been telling America all along. <laughs> and Hillary should run for Rod Stewart? Absolutely, not president. When you see Hillary <laughs> like that, you're like, now I know why Bill cheated on her. Uh, <laughs> it still hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Donald, you never say much about the whole Bill Clinton thing. Uh, uh, you know, you're not on the record or anything. Say whatever you want. Let it rip here once on a live podcast. You know, I appreciate a man in power who can get a beach in his office. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> I would just love, like, in character, oh. he just beats the shit out of a Mexican audience member halfway through the show. Get ready for the second act. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad uh, Trump and Hillary are here. How are you guys doing? Willie, Mike, life good? Life's Excited? Great. Yeah, Is I the drummer dressed as Gary Johnson? He's all the right, wall. you fucking idiots. That was a good fucking joke. <laughs> all right. There he is, the wall. They just, they just couldn't see him. They couldn't see him. Oh. That was it. <laughs> could, could my mic get turned up a little bit? I don't want to yell. Uh-oh. Trump's controlling the sound. He is, yeah. There, there we you go. go. Thank you. That's, that's a lot better. I love it. So you guys have done this show before. You know what you're in for. Audience, yeah. you guys know what you're in for? I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. If you don't, let me put it to you this way. About 40 or 50 comedians signed up before the show on a bunch of little pieces of paper. Some not comedians. Some are just completely insane people. Or as I like to call them, Hillary supporters. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are really funny comedians that come from all different places. Comedians, you guys know how it works. You get 60 seconds, you know your time's up, and you hear the sound of a kitty. Aw, oh, come on, kitty. You could be a little bit louder than that. <laughs> That's so Whoa. retarded. All right, all right, wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. All right. What? Was that someone just starting a lawnmower? What the <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> Sound like a... There oh, you go. Wow, that was a bear right there. There it is. So, uh, you guys ready to start the show or what? You guys ready to do this shit? Mike Lawrence, <laughs> Willie Hunter, Donald Trump, and Hillary Clinton. And the wall. Don't forget about the wall. Very important. All right. Oh, I'm doing some The non-committal wall. <laughs> Ooh, I like the sound of this. How about Antonio Panate? El Tocho. El Tocho! Is that, is that who I think it is? Yeah. Where's Josh at? You know what? Tony, unfortunately, I regret to announce that I deported El Tocho right from the <laughs> show. Ah. It's my boy yeah. Jeremiah Watkins. Boom! I want to see if Pinate was filled with candy. Anybody have eyes on Josh Martin? Yeah, can you go get him? That'd be great. So let me tell you guys something cool. This is awesome. It's the El Tocho that I thought it was. And that is, uh, he works the actual fryers here at the comedy store. Like, the actual, like, sliders. And, the only uh, friars French club he'll ever be a part he, of. <laughs> he really doesn't speak good English at all. And uh, he dabbles in stand-up. But I'm really excited to see what he's going to do here tonight. Because he always has a lot of energy. He's a positive guy. He's worked here for a few years. Everybody loves him. But, but his English has... You gotten got better it, over the years. It has. He's Here he is, El Tocho, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit! Hey, 
I don't know what's going on right here, but it's my first tire. Okay, I wanna ask one fucking joke really fast. Okay. Orale. No, silly man. Fuck. My fucking wife, she's lesbian. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, guys! She brings it this morning two different girls, one black and one Chinese. <laughs> Tight pussy and black, big ass. That's it, guys. <laughs> Antonio Panate, El Tocho. <laughs> El Tocho. When, now, when the only words they say are like lesbian, pussy, and ass, you know they learn to speak English from Pornhub. <laughs> 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 that wasn't even as much a joke as it was just something that happened, seems to have happened to you today. I think he said a total of eight words. Yeah. 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 The only thing greasier really than fast. the food you make is your hair. <laughs> <laughs> really fast because... You know, I had tortilla in the oven. <laughs> oh. silly, bro. I totally know what you yeah. just said. Uh, I told you El that. Tocho, uh, yeah. you're working right now. Yes. This is I the do. first time you've ever been on this show. You've been working here for years. We've been doing this show for years. What made you sign up tonight? It's because uh, I want to do it. I'm feeling like, wow, well, what the fuck is going on with this show? Let me try. Yeah, because right now uh, I get out from the original room. Uh-huh. Yeah, I do it my three minutes right there. You do three minutes yes. every Monday. No tree minutes. He does material yeah. specifically <laughs> about trees. <laughs> <laughs> wow, even my, for me, that was a low blow, yeah. Michael Warren. So, my, so you okay, were working. Wait a second. I'll touch you. You were working when you got pulled out of this bucket. Somebody ran down and grabbed you. I'll touch you. I'll touch you. You're on in the belly room. See so you to run up. Is there food cooking right now in the kitchen? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Is, <laughs> is there really? Yeah. Oh shit! All right, guys. What did we learn tonight? I love. It. I'm gonna get a report from management later. Uh, Tony, your alcohol sales in that show tonight were really good, but uh, we didn't sell a single slider. Uh, can you explain that? Fully cooked burgers and half baked premises. <laughs> My wife, lesbian. I mean, even you looked like you got electrocuted when you heard the room laugh at that. Like you were so shocked. My wife, lesbian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like no, me. The, I'm excited because, you know, it's my, my first time in this show. Right. And when, when somebody come in, I want to say, Davina, she come and she told me, hey, Tocho, wow, go really fast. All right, I leave the fucking tortilla on the oven. I don't know. This There's a tortilla on the oven yeah, right now. Bro. All right. You're you know, tortilla. every time he talks, <laughs> the kitchen fire is getting larger <laughs> yeah. and larger. I've never had a guy bomb out. and light the stage on fire at the same time. <laughs> but the but kitchen is literally like directly on underneath us right now. <laughs> right we will be the first to know. Yeah, I don't know. You said. It want to be my last day right here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. For the <laughs> this is the be. first time he's done comedy and he hasn't worn a bumblebee suit. <laughs> it's it's not, <laughs> he, didn't even, he didn't even take off the glove. That's that's how he, he ran up here with a glove on. <laughs> he's like the Michael Jackson of uh, <laughs> no, something. I always have one glove in my pocket because you know, uh, so, sometimes I don't have a condom, bro. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, that. I, I, that was his first I joke. Use this shit. Yes. Wait, you what think you, you can give sexual transmitted diseases through your hands? Yeah, you put the you put the glove over your dick, right? Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. It's pretty economic. You don't want to take HIV, huh? Which uh, w do you do? You always pick the same finger, or do you just do start you at it? the left and go to the right? You have five condoms. You pick the index finger one. All right, I'll touch you. Uh, I'll touch you giving uh, act outs for this podcast. Uh, <laughs> El Tocho, what's the what's the craziest uh, craziest thing that you've ever had happen to you sexually? I mean, if that happened today, what's the craziest thing that a woman, you and a woman, have ever done in bed? Actually, actually always, always, uh, she bring. A, um, we have um, uh, almost a year together, and she bring a, like Saturday, Sunday. Uh, I have no idea what the fuck yeah. you're saying. <laughs> you still get you still get to stay in America. Congratulations. Donald, what do you think about this guy? 
You know, he's a funny guy. I think he has a bright future, just not on this side of the wall. <laughs> El Tocho, go get that tortilla out the oven. We're going to hustle yeah, you yeah. out of here. Anything else for El Tocho, guys? He's killing it. Get out of here. Go, go, go stop the kitchen fire. El Tocho making a surprise appearance. That's fucking crazy. I give that a C minus. All right. Oh, you know what? It's I'm, fine. That's a, yeah, I'm if I did that joke in broken English, you would have thought it was brilliant. Wow. Speaking of broken English, the bucket always seems to have a little rhythm to it. This is a what we would call a Kill Tony legend. We love him here. He always does a new 60 seconds. Put your hands together for the great Tam Fam, everybody. Here he is. Um, I'm, I'm socially retarded, so uh, there's something I should probably get out of the way. Uh, I do not pay for sex, uh, which means that I do not have sex. Uh, like, I, I would say that I rarely date, but that, even that would be an understatement. That's like saying Magic Johnson rarely donates blood. Um, Uh, my, my brother is uh, much more interested in being liked by people. He's all into trends and stuff. Like, if he was white, I would call him uh, a wigger. But uh, people don't call Asians wiggers, so I call him Filipino. <laughs> uh, that's all I have. Thanks. Tam Pam, 41 seconds. <laughs> Leave it to an Asian to come in short. Are the immigrants really afraid of Donald, and that's why they're only doing like 30 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an intimidating force. What can I say? Oh, man. Now, what's interesting about you, you're, uh, there's actually a thing here, because Donald Trump is with us tonight. Yeah. Jeremiah, you're, you, you mentioned earlier being a, somewhat of a fan of Jeremiah Watkins. And Jeremiah, when, when Tam Fam has been on the show the last few times, we've done a thing where Jeremiah speaks for Tam Fam and Tam Fam moves his mouth and does uh, the jokes that Jeremiah thinks would be good for him. Donald, do you want to maybe take a, how do you feel about maybe taking a stab at that tonight? I'll give it a shot. All right, Donald Trump doing the types of jokes that he thinks Tam Fam should be doing. Uh, the way Tam Fam would do them with him act with Tam Fam actually physically acting them out. Enjoy. <laughs> I went to supermarket today. <laughs> and I ordered fish for my girlfriend. But then I realized I already have fish between her legs. <laughs> Tam Pam, how is it possible that you sell his jokes better than you sell your own? Like, you really get into it. But I didn't realize there was an Asian girl in the front row until you started doing that voice. <laughs> Dude, man. That's a Tammy fam right there. How does an, how does an Asian person look like Millhouse? It's fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> your style is actually a lot better since when you first started this show. I mean, you remember him wearing his own shirt, his name on oh, there every crazy. week. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, God, I've seen... Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, he's old school. Tam Fam's royalty. He's real oh. fam, which is his uncle's name as well, real fam. Now, I... Now, now I know it was a joke, but you've had sex before, right? Uh, Not so, so many times. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's so great. It's the greatest thing in all of comedy. Still less racist than what Jeff Dunham does. <laughs> You're right. He does have a real like Millhouse Simpson like Millhouse yeah. thing to him, except I feel like he's a little more yellow. Yeah. <laughs> I should have said Tam Fam's a little more yellow. You probably thought I was talking about Millhouse. Makes it more racist if I said Tam Fam. It is true. I used to wear my Twiddle handle on my shirt, but now I have a handle on fashion. <laughs> I 
It's unbelievable. It's so obnoxiously, stupidly perfect. It's like a loophole. It's like like farts or something like that. Like no, no, no. It's a loophole. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, Tam fam, what else is going on in life, man? How do you feel about things? Uh, it's okay, I guess. Uh, I guess I should probably answer uh, Willie's question since it's, it's, it seemed serious at the yeah, time. Go ahead. Uh, I have had sex, but never with anybody that I didn't have to pay, so I don't really count it. Aww. Aww. Did you hear all those girls all out there, Tam fam? <laughs> They're like, I'll only fuck you if Jeremiah does the voice the entire time. <laughs> Five dollar? <laughs> what would that sound like to you? Uh, Oz, Oz translate in my language to wet pussy. <laughs> so, if there are any rabies out there, please start singing I Am So Ronery. Please No. I'm looking for a hookup. Just know that I will wham, bam, slam, tam, fam you all night long. How does a comedy show have better dubbing than any kung fu flick I've ever seen <laughs> in my life? <laughs> that is really incredible. Tam, fam, you have a knack for that. Do you like? Have you? you how do? You, how are you so good at uh, knowing what? It's, it's a special connection me wow. and Jeremiah have. That's incredible. Uh, so, how much have you paid for a Jackie Chan job? <laughs> I like Jackie I am Chan. Going, job, I'm going to let that joke die as it should. <laughs> <laughs> a most honorable death. <laughs> Uh, oh if you just God. listen to this podcast and you don't watch the video version, I feel so terrible for you. You right there are people, and you right there are the smartest people in the world. <laughs> Audio people are just like, what the fuck are they laughing at right now? No idea. Tam fam can move those fucking lips. That's a, what are you doing for work? Extra. Extra? Yeah. Like, in what? Anything cool? Uh, the just training. newspaper. Extra, <laughs> extra. Read all about it. <laughs> <laughs> Read all about it. <laughs> what were you, you're gonna you're gonna say Judge Judy? That's what you're gonna say? Uh, training day I did today. Oh, training day. Yeah. So uh, just you know. Uh, what yeah. did you do? Uh, pedestrian. Just. You know. <laughs> <laughs> what was that like? It was a role that <laughs> that I have prepared for <laughs> for many years, <laughs> but still heavily disappoint my father. <laughs> Oh my god, that made no sense. <laughs> I love that. Oh my god. Tam fam, anything else going on in life? I mean, you're killing it. You getting a lot of stage time? A little bit. Yeah, you know, I, I try to <laughs> <laughs> try to get up every night. You know, just... That music makes anything sad. It's so funny. Yeah, I've been getting up every night. Uh... Every sentence you say commits ritualistic suicide. <laughs> like, it starts out noble and then just kills itself. Have like a lot of my jokes. But fucking, why are you so sad? Uh, I like I said before. <laughs> <laughs> I get no pussy, Mike Lawrence. <laughs> pussy in my culture. Is a key to happiness. I think it's everywhere. <laughs> oh, oh my God! It's oh God! It's unbelievable. <sighs> no, but why? Why are you so sad? That that was actually pretty. <laughs> <accurate>. <laughs> Over here, I'm dying. I can't even fucking. Uh, wow. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, maybe we should move on. Tam Fam, any close? I mean, well, well, you know what? Actually, let's talk a little bit What longer. next sad ethnicity are we? This is just like the most depressing version <laughs> of Street Fighter, this show so far. 
<laughs> it's a special super racial edition of uh, Kill Tony. Yeah. Anything else, Tam Fam? Uh, What's no, the closest you've come to fucking a chick? There's nobody. There's no other pedestrians on uh, the set of Training Day. Uh, no, I, I try to avoid people. I don't. I don't. I just don't really like being around people. Well, maybe that's why you're not getting laid, dude. But those robots are coming soon, though. VR, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you you didn't realize that was going to be the most hopeful part of his yeah. set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Virtual reality is coming. You're totally going to get laid soon. Yeah. All right. Thank you for your optimism, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I wonder sometimes <laughs> if virtual reality was my reality, would I still be turned down for sex? <laughs> but then I think, they would give me something. <laughs> <laughs> Tam Fam, we absolutely love you here. This episode's gonna be the one that gets you laid, I know it. This is the one. You can all say you were at the episode that got Tam Fam laid. Some crazy little Twitter chick's gonna come here. And if you are that crazy of a girl and you're listening, come fuck Tam Fam. We'll, 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 we'll let you do an interview session. You'll get your own special 60 second interview afterwards. All right. And Tam Fam will give you 30 seconds, probably. All right, we've met this guy before. Uh, put your hands together for Bill Russ. My niece and nephew are starting to become teenagers now, and they're starting to talk about hip-hop slang language. So I'm trying to be more relatable to them, like a really cool hip uncle. So I wrote them this letter. I wrote, uh, yo, Brittany and John, what up? I was just chilling. Thought I'd write you, yo. Just got back from my hustle, making a Skrilla. You know, chips. Can't get a tenderoni unless you got the chips. This honey dip's supposed to come by the club if she can get the whip. She never showed, didn't call. That's mad whack. I ignored the dying piece, told her you'll stop sweating me, talk to the hand. I had to regulate her. She started fronting. I said, why are you up on my grill if you don't even know the barbecue? Don't be up my Kool-Aid, don't know the flavor. Get off my jock. I told her to bounce. She got all janky, began tripping. I said, yo, get off my tip. So now this biscuit is just getting his groove on like for any skeezer, yo. I got to bounce. Peace out, Uncle Bill. I really sent that. My sister called me a week later. Are you on drugs? And I was like, no, but this biscuit hater is pushed up on my boo and she better come correct. <laughs> I have an arsonist friend of mine who just found a girl on Matches.com. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Bill Ross. I feel, like, I feel like you know all that newer lingo so that it can help you get kids to come to your van. <laughs> close to right on that? Um, well, I'm out of candy right now, so... You look like you have flashbacks of bombing Tam Fam's village. Yeah. <laughs> Those were the good old days. <laughs> but speaking of bombs, a uh, nice set. Uh, <laughs> that was that was so weird. That, that felt like you were writing like the fascism my nizzle Fran Drescher Snoop Dogg commercial. <laughs> like white people are always like nine years behind in black culture. Yeah. Do you have yeah. Urban Dictionary? Talk to the no, hand came out at one point. Yeah. Talk no, to the hand. No, actually, uh... <laughs> came out at one point. He was auditioning to write for the Carmichael show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just looking, up, just looking up at the black lady up there, shaking her head slowly, no. Like He's a, like, hey, Willie, I know all the hip, cool lingo. And, and none of it was. No, actually, there was a... Yeah, well, <laughs> What's the newest one that you auditioned, that you, the, that you added? To I that? Actually, I, I uh, saw an article in the paper a few a while back. <laughs> oh, my Slay God. No. A while back? <laughs> yeah. Reading the actual newspaper, huh? Mr. Mr. I, 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 learned about about this, I learned about this new lingo when I was reading the newspaper back slang. in 72. You, you, but you, I actually, can't, you can't do jokes with slang when you look like a racist cop. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I, was reading the, I was reading the paper the other day. These kids are talking about the razzmatazz. <laughs> Real That's skedaddle, do ya? That thing's actually a true story. I did send that to my niece. My sister did call and say, are you on drugs and everything? That's, that's, that's all. That's I would story. have the exact wow. same response as your sister. That, well, I, I couldn't understand so, anything you were saying the whole time. So what it lacked in humor, it made up for in truth. And that's <laughs> what you want in comedy. Well, the truth <laughs> story. Have you, done that, have you done that out on the road? Yeah. Do, those, so yeah, so I can oh, yeah. see that working in Cleveland State, but like, it worked at fl- it worked at Flappers a couple nights ago. Yeah. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I know. Oh, I know. Shit. I know. I know. That's what I'm saying is, point. <laughs> what I'm saying is. What I'm what I'm saying is is it's like on the road. All, I've got all the country. I, yeah. I know, I know. But like the nine people it would I mo- to watch this that's joke road, that's, it. that's road. That's road comedy. That you feel like you have the road on you when no. you're doing that. You know what? I would like to see. I would like to see you do that same joke in front of a black audience. I've done that. Yeah. Like, yeah. How I like that the joke was so bad it made him drop the <laughs> Hillary <laughs> character. Like, <laughs> let me uncross my legs and be real with you for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, you're well, an inter- it doesn't. It does. I mean, like, okay, this is pure com. This is my taste in comedy. Yeah. But, uh, dude, that shit. That that's for like. That's for your demographic. And like, I don't know if you want it. Like, kids are into some different stuff. Bill, what's yeah? yeah. Should have done my baseball golf announcer yeah. joke. I was gonna do yeah. that. But Bill just- Russ kills with guys named Bill or Russ. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 Bill, like, you're an interesting guy because you seem, like, so likable. You almost seem like some, like, jolly Canadian guy or something like that. But you're American, right? Yeah. And how much, like, how long have you been on stand-up? 18 years. 18 years. How long ago? Oh, April God. April 98. Dude, your <laughs> failure is old enough to vote. <laughs> For one of these candidates. these candidates. <laughs> Oh, fuck, man. Holy shit. <laughs> that was amazing. All I can say is, wow, Mike Lawrence, wow. Yeah, very impressive. I was having a conversation with Eric Myers, who's been doing it for 16 years, and he said he moved to L.A. four years ago, and when he moved to L.A., all his jokes had the road on them, and people would just kind of stare at him because there's – do you understand when I, like the music of the language is, like, super hokey? Bill, what's the riskiest thing that you talk about? Let's get right into it. How old are you? Uh, 51. 51. You ever been married? No. No kids? No kids. Uh, craziest thing you've ever done? <laughs> Commit to stand-up for 18 years. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's so much <laughs> better when it comes in before <laughs> the answer <laughs> than after. That's so crazy. It's like an unsolved mystery. That's like evolved Fred from uh, a... <laughs> I'll see. Um, hmm. what, what's the I'd, big, big, I'd, uh, what's that? What's the biggest accomplishment you've had in comedy? Or any anyway. besides being I, judged uh, by us? What, uh, tell us Bra- about your real I life. I opened for Brad Garrett in a six hundred seat theater in Virginia. Oh God! Play that. Mu- <laughs> play that. Sa- play that. Play that. Sa- where's that oh. sad music? At? I really love that biscuit joke, <laughs> Raymond. I I need this to back us up here through this. Well, uh, when when did that happen? You opened for uh, Brad Garrett. About four years ago. Okay. All right, Bill, stick with me over here. Yeah, I'm with <laughs> you, right. Tony. Forget Brad Garrett for a All second. Right. Tell As me, the world tell has. me shit that's interesting about your life, like things that you've done in 51 years. You ever <laughs> win a yo-yo championship or a pumpkin pumpkin carving contest on... or radio something or? Uh, don't, I worked in radio for 10 years. What's the... I was on ABC's America's Funniest People years ago. Won two thousand dollars, eighteen sixty after taxes. I um. What'd you do on that? I did impressions. What'd you do impressions of? Oh, uh, they're old. They did a that. That was a while ago. I, I know. A, I, I, that's I did not the Casey c- Kasem clip from Cheers, Reverend Jim and Louie from Taxi, and Archie Edith from All in the Family. Oh my God! You know, well, all you the just classics. read lost lyrics from We Didn't Start the Fire. <laughs> 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 do you do but any still impression- Do you do any impressions of anybody modern? When we just goes myself and then walks down the staircase slowly. (laughs) (laughs) It's so sad. (laughs) We all actually pictured that for a second. I haven't done any new ones in a while. All right. Casey Kasem, he's doing Homer Simpson. And you can't just you know, keep saying Casey Kasem, Bill. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to save you on this one. <laughs> uh, we're not going to go there. Um, Why did so, you get into comedy? I used to, when I was a kid, I used to watch Johnny Carson and watch all the comedians on there all the time. I loved it. That's what I wanted to do. And, uh, That's what did it? Yeah. All right. 
Which one Bill, Bill. Tell me something interesting about your life, something that you've accomplished, something weird you've seen, something. Like if you were going to write the Bill Russ book and you had to think of like a, a page that was going to be decent, what would it be? <laughs> Here's a good road story. I was doing a show in Danville, one. Virginia. Oh, Danville, right. Virginia. Right. After, after the show, this young girl came up to me and asked me if I had any weed. And I told her I don't I don't do that I don't smoke pot. I don't she do goes, weed. Uh, she, she goes, I don't uh, do weed, girl. Do about, so she goes, she goes. If you uh, if you give me forty bucks for weed, I'll have sex with you. Oh, so and then I all of a sudden you're just like, weed. wow. So you gave her forty bucks for weed. <laughs> yeah. And did you see her smoke the weed? No. It wasn't for weed. <laughs> <laughs> let me fa let me fast forward you to how that story should go. Some chick told you. It was for weed, but it definitely Her was. name was Tabitha. I bet it was. How has <laughs> the fry cook who can't speak English been the most hopeful person on the show? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> These immigrants come and they can do the job Ooh. of a Bill Russ <laughs> equally as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time. Oh, I, I got the accent. That was confused. your champagne. <laughs> wow! I got my accents mixed up there. Nazi. Oh, the mouse of weirdness. Um, all right. No Bill. me gusta. <laughs> so, Bill, what was that sex like? Where'd you do it at? Where'd you take a girl like that? Your car? Tell the truth. Do not try to be funny. I could see no, those. No, it was in the car. It was in the car. Driver's seat or back seat? It was back seat. It was a uh, Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierra. <laughs> 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 If you had to guess the retail <laughs> price of that Cutlass Sierra, what would you say that it is? Thirteen ninety. No. <laughs> uh, so you stopped you, yourself when you had a real chance to commit there. He fucked in the car because even his dick only works on the road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Weird and wild stuff. <laughs> oh God, this is such a fun episode. <laughs> Bill. Yes, sir. Come on. Anything else? What else is crazy? Uh, you ever win? I'm any really bad with directions. Uh, what, what? These are, what it, you should see me. I'm out there with my road map, and I'm just uh, fumbling and fumbling. I, want, I once had a show in a, once had a show. I was the, reading the paper one time, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm lost and driving at the same time. Feels Shouldn't like, be reading this paper. It feels like Comics Unleashed with Byron Allen. He could get lost on stage in under a minute. Uh. I uh, I was once in my sh I was once in my Chevy Chevelle. Read my road map. <laughs> I had a show in uh, upstate New York, Broad Alban, New York, at the Funny Farm. Well, and then I was, I was, I was driving down the street, and all of a sudden, oh, God, it was terrible. <laughs> Jesus. This guy was reading a newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Bill, go ahead. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was at a show at the Funny Farm in Broad Alban, New York, and I left Sunday morning at 5.30 a.m. to go back to Virginia Beach where I lived. Six hours into the drive, and I saw the sign, Welcome to Boston. I drove six hours east instead of south. Oh, <laughs> true, true story. Oh, my God. Oh what my is God. chapter four of your autobiography? <laughs> oh my I feel God. like if, if I talk to you <laughs> about you to an old man, be like, Bill Russ? No one's seen Bill Russ do stand-up in over 35 years. <laughs> 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 All right, so the second craziest thing that you've ever done is drive six hours in the wrong direction. Which, by the way, is basically a scene from the hit movie Dumb and Dumber in which a c team of comedy writers had to think, like, what's the dumbest thing a human being could possibly do? Let's really get goofy with it. We can use our imaginations. And that's what they literally came up with and what's widely considered one of the funniest movies of all time. They pretty much drive six hours in the wrong direction. You accomplished what a bunch of comedy writers literally thought was something so unbelievably funny. Anyway, that's the did... number two most interesting thing. What's number three? God. Um... Dig deep. Dig deep. And by dig deep, I mean think of, tell us where the bodies are buried. In the funny farm in Albany. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Turns out that the funny farm is a psych ward that he was committed to. <laughs> so was, forget stand-up. Forget, sh forget show right. stories. Yeah. Something from life. Yeah. That's You're not going to sell us on the comedian thing. We want to know what's some <laughs> oh, real that shit. That was the meanest thing that's been said tonight. <laughs> hey, I'll go down with this shit. <laughs> anyway. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, this is a crazy episode. Huh? 
What do you got, Bill? I interned at a radio station when I was uh, younger. Why are these all like rinky dink show business stories? Okay. Anything happen to you when you were I once did a bringer show on the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good story. <laughs> <laughs> I'd listen to them. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Bill, w- you, you have a girlfriend lately? Anything like that? No. You, you into guys? You, you, you gay? No. No. That's what do you do to pass time? My dog. <laughs> what? Dog park. I walk, my Whoa. dog's the one that had the broken leg. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> do, you, do you eat ass? <laughs> Dog Every ass. person that's I been up know. here has been a sad independent film. Like yeah. this is so. I want to see who who's European. next. Bill, any? <laughs> I feel like Philip Seymour Hoffman could have gotten an Oscar for playing you in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we have we have Most your dog on Ken the line. Allen would. So, uh, Bill, how long have you had your dog for? Five years. Creepiest thing you've ever let it lick off of your penis. <laughs> well, he doesn't like peanut butter, Tony. <laughs> Don't. Bill, uh, anything else, man? Let's see. Uh, Where are you performing next? I've written a serial killer letter before. You wrote, you wrote a what? Serial killer letter. I had a neighbor who had a dog was barking all morning, like early morning to late at night. It was really bugging me, so I, I took a magazines. I cut serial killer letter out. And I put two mindless barking dog and noise neighbor. Try getting a pet rock. I will be watching you. And I taped it to their door, and it <laughs> never happened again. True story. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's because you're a creepy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be terrified of the 51 year old road comic <laughs> who has no family. That would be. And scary. has a lot of magazines, too. Yeah, you and nothing them. to live for. And out of all the things, I mean, you don't really. That's incredible that there wasn't any more barking because you didn't really, like, explain exactly what it was. Say it again. What did it say? You cut out each independent yeah, letter. It just said, too mindless, barking dog, a noise neighbor. Try getting a pet rock. I will be watching you. And it never happened again after I... All right. I'm pretty sure we're all accessories to a crime now. Uh, (laughs) Bill, I like your style, man. I think it's time we kill Bill. (laughs) No part two. I was paranoid seeing that movie. Bill, we're going to see you again soon, buddy. Best of luck. Go take chances. Do something crazy. Oh, Jesus, Bill. Don't make it sadder than it already is. I'm about to cry over here. In the meantime, you can catch him performing anywhere that's voting for Trump. What do you think about that? I'm even offended by that comment, my (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's get into it. This bucket's a crazy one tonight. This might be a new name. I don't know. We'll see. Put your hands together for Chris Sanders. There can be only one. (laughs) All right, one more time for Chris Sanders. So uh, I used to live in Beverly Hills uh, as a homeless person. I actually used to live behind my job, which was a Saks Fifth Avenue on a strip of grass. Uh, Every uh, 5 a.m. I'd wake up when the sprinklers would turn on, and then I'd go into work early. Uh, After a year of doing this, I eventually got an award uh, for perfect attendance. (laughs) Um, One of the weirdest things about uh, living in uh, Beverly Hills, see like a lot of strange things. I remember I saw this lady, she had her dog in the baby stroller, but she had her kids on a leash. And then she got really upset at me when I tried to pet the kid. I'm like, is it like a service baby? Is that what it is? you know, you see a lot of like, uh, you know, mean kids, even like rich, arrogant kids. I was at a CVS uh, buying some toothpaste, and this kid, they were like, they were running amok. They were throwing bags, being loud, being mean. Cashier's like, you gotta leave. Three of the kids leave, but one stays. And then he points at the cashier and he goes, I could buy you. And that's how ignorant this kid is. He doesn't know that the line is, uh, my dad could buy you. <laughs> Thank you. Chris Sanders. Wow. How you doing, Chris? I'm doing well, thank you. 
How old are you? I'm 27. How long have you been doing stand up? Um, I well, I say consistently truth, for about truth. consistently for about a year and a half. Donald. Yeah. I think the question is, how long has he been a stand-in for Willie Hunter? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Have you two ever seen each other before? I, I saw you once when I first moved here. I was going to the 7-Eleven on Sunset, uh, and we were both in the same checkout. Sunset is such a funny word for a guy with a lisp to say. <laughs> Can you say sunset one more time? Sunset. <laughs> sunset. Before, sun sunset. before sunset. <laughs> um, we saw each other, and then what happened? Well, um, I... That week I came to the conference for the first Did you guys just time. start mime handing yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Marx Brothers, yeah. Um, I came to the conference for the first time and I saw the Willie Hunter show, actually. That was the first show I saw when I came here to LA. And wow. I was like, hey, I like, the, I like your show. And you're like, oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. And I just went my way and you went your way. Yeah. Yeah. Do, we feel, really, do we really look very similar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, pretty much. I feel like I'm looking at the evolutionary chart of Barack Obama right now. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Now well, you just hold up. Yeah. Hold up. <laughs> oh, watch your mouth there. You really messed up the economy, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Barry. You don't call me Barry. Uh, okay. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Chris Sanders, what do you do for work? Um, I actually work, still work at Saks Fifth Avenue. I've been you work at the Saks Fifth Avenue. Are you really homeless? Not anymore. I used to be. I was uh, homeless for a time. You, uh, slept at, you really slept on the lawn? Yeah, I slept behind. There's like this uh, very, it's a place during the day we, uh, we have, during lunch we eat there, like picnics, and at night, like it's pretty safe, so I would just sleep there at night. And, you eat uh, picnics? You have homeless picnics? No. <laughs> well, during the day, you know, during like our lunch luck? period, Neiman Marcus and my and like Sachs a pot and what do you do? What do you do a at Sachs? Uh, I've done a lot of things. Uh, I've sold uh, men's shoes, suits, um, uh, you know, from Gucci to Ferragamo. Uh, I've worked stock in the wow. women's shoe department. I'm starting to guess that. Yes. Your workplace isn't the only sex that you're dealing with. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, <laughs> that's that's what I, another I day, another <laughs> kill Tony. Is about what, you, what, um, what was that? <laughs> what I want you to do is take the microphone out of the stand and hold it with one hand. Yes. There you well, go. Because you, you seem so nervous and uncomfortable. Uh, I'm a bit nervous, yes. Why? Um, uh, uh, I maybe because we're I'm, really I'm, nice on this no, show. Yeah, you get, yeah. yeah. I'm just, uh, you know... Um, I don't know. Uh, you did as well as an 18-year veteran, so I, you shouldn't feel. I appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but uh, and they talk with the same lingo. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, where are you from? I'm originally from Sarasota, Florida. Sarasota. Sarasota, Florida. Florida. Sarasota. I went from I went from Sarasota to Thunfed. I, I know that. I know where yeah, Sarasota yeah. is. At. Yeah, a little artsy beach town. And then you and then you moved. How did you get out here? How was your? Well, I went to the Florida State, um, <laughs> and then after Florida State. No, no. How did you? How did you? Did you fly out here or? Oh uh, no, I took a Greyhound. Greyhound. I knew it. <laughs> you took a Greyhound, didn't I you? I took a Greyhound. Yeah. Wow. I took a Greyhound from Alabama. Yeah. Oh, well, That's like a two-day trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, it was fun. I had my. Uh, I had these French people as my my bus mates. They were kind of oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did you did you learn anything from the French people? Um, no, no, nothing new. I mean, we. I remember. Uh, What's your least favorite race? Uh, um, orcs. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> that was silly. That was silly. Listen to the nerds roar at that one, huh? Uh, wow, the powerful nerds. <laughs> The nerd vote is powerful on this show. I guess, uh... uh look, orcs. Oh, oh, I said orcs. Yeah. You don't know what it means. You didn't watch that. <laughs> look, you're in L.A., okay? Even if it's a bad joke, if you sell it, people will believe oh, it. Thanks. Okay? You're right. I should know that. I'm in sales, right? Yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks. That's uh, so cool. Well, wait, what, do you right. what do you so sell cool. better than anyone? Um, I was pretty good at uh, selling the Ferragamo wallets. They kind of just sell themselves. So I was kind of <laughs> sell us on it. Yeah. If you were going to sell us a Ferragamo wallet, how oh, right. tell, tell us how you would do it right now. Pretend like it's in your hand. So wait, what wallet do you what, what wallet do you have right now? I have a you shitty have, one. You have a shitty wallet. Yeah. So probably have like a Swiss Army wallet. Right? Yeah. Well, Ferragamo wallet. I have a great one here. I have one right here. Um, here. Open up the pockets. Is this it's not, it's not, is this it's actually not, one? No, it's not. Well, then I would. But, I would please, but, please, hold up, please. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Smell yeah. the wallet, Tony. It's a, Smell it's, it. it's a really great wallet. It has a clip inside. Oh, uh, so that's how you do it. You literally have it sell itself. Yeah, yeah, you just yeah. you're just like, here you go, take it. Oh, yeah. shoplifter, right here. Yeah. There he goes. He's got actually, it. Uh, Barack Obama, he actually uh, got one as a Christmas present. You know, I'd say little things like oh, that. Oh, and that's bullshit. And he returned right? it the next no, day. Like, uh, like the <laughs> well, like he asked for the gift receipt. <laughs> 
<laughs> you have to do like a little bit of research, like the Barton Pereira sunglasses. Barack Obama has been seen wearing those. You talk about that. I mean, little things. Pe- people when they come into Sac for that. How much? They, how much they, is one of those wallets? Uh, for everyone, wallet probably three hundred, a little higher. Yeah. Jesus I mean, people Christ. come in Sac Fifth Avenue. They already have Jesus money. Christ. They just really want someone nice to kind of show them what they already know what they want to buy. You uh-huh. know. So I was just really polite and nice, and I guess why they hired me. I didn't know anything about fashion. You know. I never, I how's uh How's your dating life here in uh, Los Angeles? Um, it's funny. Uh, I f- I fell in love with this Japanese tourist actually last was year. Was his name Tam Fam? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, her her name was um. Alan. <laughs> Alan? Yowlin. Yowlin. Yeah. He said her uh, name is Alan. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yowlin. Uh, <laughs> Are you guys still together? No, she she was actually on vacation for two weeks. So for the last two weeks, we just kind of like, we dated. It was really cool. I met her uh, in Mid Wilshire and we just started talking. And we had, it, was gr- it was great. It was, really, it was like something out of a movie. I've never experienced anything How like long it. did you guys get to hang out? For about a week. For about a week. Huh. Uh, she had she said the Hollywood Hotel at the time I lived in North Hollywood. And um, Is she in Dubai right now for two weeks? Or where is she? <laughs> <laughs> she's actually she's back in a place called Fukuoka. You guys stay in touch? Yeah. She, um, she had to go back for some graduate work in New York in July. And mid-July, she came. She had to go back to Japan. But she's like, I'm going to come back to LA just to see you. Wow. So for a week, we, she, we hung out for a week again. And it was really it was great. Um, what did you guys do? Uh, did we you go all out. the way with her? Uh, yes. Yes. We had sex. Um, yeah. 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 Finally. Yeah. Somebody getting yes. laid on this goddamn I feel like I, I feel like I just had sex when he said that. Yes. Yeah. Imagine what you could do if you just shaved the mustache. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, we just went to the beach. Um, we had dinner. Watched the m- watch. We watched Finding Dory, which she didn't really understand yeah, that much. This is like everyone's stories are so like I know. bland. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I'm just, right? I'm, I'm just like oh. you guys hung out and watched Finding Dory. <laughs> yeah, we, we went to the beach. You know, we had dinner. But what if he like? Dory. What if he like fingered her while watching that movie? <laughs> Pat lives an exciting life though. Pat like won't even. Pat won't even like have sex until devolve. he's already like shot heroin, played a concert. <laughs> Chris, anything you do? Anything crazy ever? Anything in your life ever stand out to you? Some fucked up shit? Uh, ever like uh, poop your pants and puke <laughs> at the same time? Anything weird? You know, I think the craziest thing I ever did is after college I joined the Navy Reserve, and then a year later I left. You joined the Navy and then you quit. Yeah. Real American oh. hero you are, Chris. Uh, yeah. Why'd you quit? Um, you know, I, I just didn't. Uh, I was a medical corpsman, and uh, I, don't know, I just didn't really like what I was doing, and so I just kind of walked away. You know, I talked to a lot of the some mentors about it. You know, good move, bad move, and they were just pretty much like, you know what, you're gonna have a long life. You've only been in for a year. It's gonna be fine. It's not a big. You're reservist. You show up one week in a month. You know. Uh, Tony, ask me a question from my life. Yeah, Pat, crazy as shit. Some, tell me some shit. Okay, uh, one time I uh, got on Tinder and met up with a girl at 4 a.m. And uh, she had just broken up with her boyfriend that same night. And she was a, a stripper. And uh, she, like, we, she, we did, she took out, like, a bag of drugs. And the bag had, like, at, like full, of, full of a bunch of shit. And then we did mushrooms. And then we, uh, and then we had sex. And then she told me about, like, uh, her dad dying and her brother dying. And she had, like, art from her brother's death, like, all over the walls. And the walls were red, which, I mean, red is a really uncomfortable color for a bedroom. I still think him mushrooms. having the confidence to leave the Navy is a more impressive story. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that sounds means. You just, you're just a white Mike. kid that did mushrooms. He was like, fuck you, America. Yeah. Well, I live for me. Mike just won interruption of the night. Yeah. And you hear that song, you I'm know. Pearl Harbor some Japanese girl instead. Yeah. Well, then. <laughs> the second time we hung out, uh, she was on heroin. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys spoon afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to make that noise like it's not brilliant, like it's hacky? All right, cool. I want to I give you one piece of advice. Please, please. Which is that. A lot of comics, when they start, are fucking poor. Like, I was dirt fucking poor. I still look it. But you were fucking homeless. Like, I want to see that when you're on stage. Like, being on stage should be the most comfortable you feel. You should be fucking fighting harder than any of these fucking, you know, people that live in apartments and houses. Like, you should show that. 
and because then it should mean something to you. Like you left the Navy, you have an interesting story. Like you should have that fire, and instead you were like nervous. You didn't know how to hold the microphone and stuff. Like there's an interesting person here. Fucking, you have nothing to lose, so you should show that on stage. Um, I right, will do. I will. I will. Boom. I will. Let it rip. Chris Sanders, come back again soon. Right. Yes, there he thank goes. You. Thanks for having me. What ethnicity are you? I'm a uh, Cambodian and black. Cambodian and black. Yeah, All right, there he right. goes. Yeah. Chris yeah. Sanders. Yeah. That's pretty great. Cambodian and black. What the fuck is going on? Did you know you look half Cambodian? <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> Willie, what are you? Are you half Cambodian? Uh, I'm just black. <laughs> <laughs> Why did that get a laugh? <laughs> we know this young lady. We love her. Put your hands together for Lindsay Jennings, everybody. Here she is. <laughs> oh. What's up? Yeah, kill Tony. Hey guys. <laughs> uh, I've been dating this dude. He keeps telling me I have masculine qualities, but he keeps wanting to fuck me. So I'm like, okay, I guess that means that I'm a little manly and you're a little gay. Uh, <laughs> same dude hit that booty call up recently and he turned me down. And I was a little upset, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and I was driving home. I was at my right mind, you know, I was high. And all of a sudden I found myself in the Carl's Jr. drive-thru, but I wasn't ordering anything. I think because I just wanted to say no to a guy. <laughs> he was like, can I help you? I was like, no! It felt good. But then I was like, wait, unless you're off right now. <laughs> what do you look like? It turned into a blind date in the drive-thru. I was looking at that screen like ASL. Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay Jennings. How's it going? What's up? Uh, so that guy you're dating that thinks that uh, there's masculine qualities in you, does he ever tell you specifically what he thinks they are? I don't know. He's dressed like a woman right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I didn't know if she was going to go there. Uh, me scared. neither. Me neither. I sort of lobbed up a beach ball, so we were going to go with it. Oh, wow. Sometimes you got to do that as a host. See, what, see, what, see where the sharks want to play. Yeah. I mean, Pat does sit down when he pees at urinals. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing. What is that, a Brody joke or something? That's like hilarious. Sits down while he pees at urinals. <laughs> yeah, well, I noticed Lindsay told a couple of jokes directly to me, <laughs> which is interesting because yeah. I really. I did notice that the I'm dating this guy <laughs> <laughs> who tells me that I have masculine qualities. <laughs> <laughs> How are things going? You guys having fun? Good. We were fighting today. Really? We were fighting right before this. Oh yeah. shit! No, but we had like a great day. <laughs> we did. We did. Yo we did yoga and fucking like worked out and made food. And then he fought with me over putting taking too much ice out of a fucking smoothie in the blender. <laughs> uh, wow! Diva. Another one of Pat's crazy stories. <laughs> I love that. So you guys are fighting awesome. over basically nothing. Yeah. And then shit probably escalates pretty quickly. You guys are like little rock star couple. There's something very like Kurt and Courtney about your guys' connection. I'll tell you that right She's now. She's Kurt. I'm Courtney. <laughs> True. There's no winner in that. <laughs> They're both horrible fates. Except oh. you're more likely to kill yourself. Oh, Ooh. too real. Oh, <laughs> oh, come too on. real? Too real. Too real. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something. I could hear you visibly talking during other people's sets. Oh, uh, shit, really? Yeah, yeah, I could. During sets? Were you yeah. talking during people's sets? And so it's like, when if, if you're gonna do that and then come up and have that, it's just kind of disappointing. 
It just felt like there was like an entitlement a little bit. Like I, I could hear it during when we were talking to the other people. Oh, I'm Ooh. sorry. But you do yeah. know that you were talking during people's sets? Is that what you're saying? No, I didn't think I talked during anybody's sets, but maybe, yeah. I mean, I kind of say my opinion of what's going on over there. It's kind of loud. Other people talk. I was just kind of like, oh, my God, this is boring. Can we move on? You hear how much she yeah, you, 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 you hear how much do she that. You hear how much she talks during yoga. No. Shut up. What, what, trying what, to follow the video yeah, yeah. and put on music. What types of things was she bringing up during yoga? Ow! Oh, my back's so fucking sore. And then she's just like rolling around, like <laughs> running into me and shit. Wow. And I'm you trying to open my yoga? third eye. Not usually. <laughs> trying to open Not your high. third eye, really? Wow, I feel like I'm watching a Hot Topic sitcom. <laughs> 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 wow, Trump! You yeah, it's every fight it. you see at a Fall Out Boy concert. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, those are both so tonally off. Oh uh, man. man. Well, I didn't mean to talk during. I didn't talk during anybody's sets, but I'm sorry that I've I, that was rude to you. So, what were you thinking when they were up? Were you just like this? Well, I shit? just am like, there's 50 comics in the balcony trying to get up, and they were spending a lot of time on like some boring stuff. That's what, what was boring to you? What part? Uh, the last dude. <laughs> Just the end of. Uh, All right, so what happened? You with mean that, I what was happened boring? With, what happened with Chris that threesome Sanders. in Australia? Oh shit! Whoa! <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong ethnicity there, Brian. Uh, I guess Pat wants me to tell the story about how I went to Australia and on the plane I thought I was going to be one of the people to go to sleep, but I ended up drinking lots of wine and partying in the back, and there was like three dudes there, and this guy had a bunch of Xan. He told me he had. 50 Xanax in his pocket, so I was like, can I have 10 of them? And he just gave them to me, so it was awesome. Got really fucked up and then joined the Mile High Club and had a threesome with another suicide girl in the bathroom of the plane. God damn. <laughs> and I wow. can hear someone over there going, when the fuck is this going to be over? <laughs> <laughs> Circle of life. Wow. <laughs> That's just on the way to Australia. He asked what happened in Australia. I mean, Jesus. That's incredible. How does somebody... Wow. That's interesting. Same time, you, a guy, and another girl, you had a threesome in a bathroom? Yeah, it was ridiculous. Of an airplane. How is yeah. that even possible? I, I don't... I, I call bullshit on this one. Oh, my yeah. God. It's this not... sounds like... I don't think you can join the Mile High Club by doing a hand I can, jobs. I can do crazy yoga, and I definitely can do weird things. Were you talking the whole time you were bending into positions? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm my back. <laughs> <laughs> really? How'd you guys pull it off? Was one person like, what, what, what do you, what, hi, I just can't picture it. And I've been in, okay, so I've be been like to Australia in a bathroom in first class, and I know you weren't up there. So, yeah. That was just for you, you to say have, you've been in first class. You can't have a threesome <laughs> so in first class. So he's sitting on the either. toilet. He's sitting on the toilet. I think that she needs to demonstrate on me and the woman. <laughs> <laughs> He's oh sitting, shit! He's sitting on the toilet. I'm here, and then the other girl is here. It's like very tight, but you know it works. What's she doing? I, I feel like that's the only thing tight about this situation. <laughs> <laughs> it's very tight in there. However, uh, my pussy, on the other hand, yikes! She's making out with me. I'm fingering her. I don't know. I hardly remember. I was super fucking wasted. Wow, Xanax, huh? Yeah. God. What what does that do to you? Does that like, is that a waker up? It calms you down. It, it like makes stops you a, your in inhibitions. It makes you a whore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you a whore. <laughs> wow. It stopped it stops inhibitions? Yeah, well oh, it stops shit. The, it literally stops the inhibitory uh, neurotransmitters in your brain. That's true, dude, because people who take Xanax have so much anxiety so they can't get through their day. They have all these inhibitions, so it helps them to I just wanna say I rode here with these two and the ride home is gonna be very interesting. <laughs> I'm not coming home with you. No, it's going to be great. You guys are great. What's He's going on? You're just going to put up a wall between them. <laughs> you guys are rock and roll as fuck. You shouldn't be fighting about anything after this. That's awesome how he can fucking set you up to tell a crazy story like that. Have you talked about that on stage before? No, I should. I need to. Well, I mean, like, out. if you pepper it up and actually, you know, I don't know, something with it. I mean, it's yeah. a thousand times more interesting than anything, any story the first five people had on stage i mean the most exciting thing about bill russell's life was what he fucking drove six hours the wrong direction <laughs> <laughs> oh my god well if you want to know uh, something that really stands out about me 
I interned in radio once. <laughs> was that, was that so Australia you, thing recently? Uh, two years ago. Uh, okay. So you might start stripping. Whoa, wow. Oh, wow. It's all coming out there right now. Here couples, we go. Couples therapy. Yeah, this is interesting. <laughs> Welcome to a new segment on Kill Tony uh, <laughs> called Couples Therapy with Pat Reagan and Lindsay Jennings. <laughs> Yeah, I might start stripping. Is that true? <laughs> 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 wow, you got Willie to start stripping. Woo! Right now. Yeah, baby, I'm going to start stripping also. <laughs> wow. You could ask them to go to the uh, champagne room or the airplane <laughs> bathroom. <laughs> oh, boy. Lindsay, so like, what, are you, really, you really might start stripping? Have, uh, you, have you ever done it before? No, I have a joke. Of, I actually did it on here one time about how I'm a failed stripper because I didn't get the job one time. Oh. But that's mo mostly because I was hesitant to take my top off because I didn't know I was going to have to take my top off. For the audition. Yeah. yeah that's, that's a big part of stripping. Well, no. But <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not gonna... really going to become a stripper either because I might work at like Cheetahs or something where you don't have to strip. But you do have to give lap dances, so you're basically a stripper. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's one of the one of the uh, old waitresses from uh, Cheetahs. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. So, have you have you are you gonna try to do this job of stripping? I mean, it seems like you'd make some money. What what's that like? I mean, well, I yeah, guess you well, don't know. You haven't done it. Well, I mean, I did a burlesque tour with Suicide Girls. That's why I was in Australia. So I've stripped on stage before. It's not like you know, too big of a deal. What? Nothing. <laughs> what? Nothing. Okay. Wow. <laughs> the sexual tension is potent in here. How have you been making money up until now? Okay, well, I worked at a... <laughs> Whoa, that's Jesus, <laughs> what is that? She, that's my friend. Oh. Uh, <laughs> she's got, like, the funniest laugh ever. Uh, no, so I was working at a weed... I did hair for, like, eight years. Yeah. Then I was working at a weed shop, because I don't want to do hair anymore. And then I got fired for no reason via voicemail while I was in New York. So from the I'm weed shop. From the weed shop. Right. Yeah, for chronically being laid. <laughs> Don't <laughs> say that, Pat. Like That's idiot. not true. He was going to fire you when you were there, That's but he funny. forgot to. No. Shut up. Chronic tardiness. <laughs> That's not really why I got fired, though. And I've been good lately. But either way, I've been making money on Snapchat for the last three weeks. <laughs> Yeah, so she's. Why does she always do that special laugh? What the fuck is this like evil temptress that does that? <laughs> what have you been doing on Snapchat? To make she money? sends. She's she in, right. in my apartment. She sends <laughs> topless photos to other guys who like. Hey, can you dress up in an orange skirt? And they pay her for that. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. How do I sign up for this thing? This sounds hey. much better than red Periscope. Ba red on it. I took, <laughs> I took a screenshot last night of them sleeping. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus God, Christ. That's, there's Kai there. in the back right there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeremiah, I'll let you get up and physically look. I can tell you need to. Yeah, you can see Pat. You see, it's, what's really funny is Pat's in the background. Like, Jeremiah's head out. for you podcast <laughs> listeners just went full Inspector Gadget across the stage. There you go. Look at is Pat. This, in uh, <laughs> so like, is this Uber? I'm gonna need to ride home. I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Joel Jimenez, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know it took wow. me a while to tell which was the woman or <laughs> the man? You guys are hilarious. I love you guys. You're like most awesome like rock and roll comedy store couple there is right now thank you <laughs> that's not so thrilled all right well what a great compliment you're the best couple at the comedy store <laughs> anything else for Besides Lindsay everyone gentlemen? else who works here in seasonal depression Willie what do you think about Lindsay what's going on over here any 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 advice to her or uh, her and Pat as a couple uh, do I love each other <laughs> Mike how about you yeah, fine. Trump? <laughs> Donald Trump? <laughs> <laughs> the faster you break up, the better. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump That's just won the election with that one statement. Uh -huh. One of you might not overdose if you break up now. It's going to be interesting to figure out which one's which. No, I'm kidding. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Lindsay, you're awesome. Thank you did it again. Thank you. There she goes, Lindsay Jennings, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. She's on Twitter at Lindsay Jennings.
I am Chris Sanders at the Bell Russ at Tam Fam Comedy. Let's get into uh, a couple regulars and then maybe we'll go back to the bucket if we have time afterwards. We have two regulars, everybody. Two young ladies that do a brand new 60 seconds every single week. This week's no different. Going up first, you know her, you love her. It's Vanessa Johnson, everybody. Uh, um, I'm, uh, I'm afraid of growing older. The thing I'm most afraid of is having to teach my future children who little John is. <laughs> having to explain to him and go, well, honey, um, sometimes you have to get low and then someone skeet skeets in you and that's how accidents happen in the club, in the bathroom. <laughs> or in the comedy club. <laughs> Um, it's weird that it's illegal to use handicapped parking spaces, but it's not illegal to use handicapped bathroom stalls. Way more illegal activity has happened in a handicapped bathroom stall than has ever happened in a handicapped parking space. You thought meter maids were bad? Imagine the potty police. Fuck yeah. <laughs> 57 seconds, Vanessa Johnston. What was the first thing you talked about? Oh, oh you yeah, called yeah. him you called him Little John <laughs> at the beginning. Yeah, you, you literally gotta said the words Little John. So everything you said, I feel at least it sounded that way to me. That's oh, you what said I, I heard. said Little John instead of Lil John. Yeah, and I yeah. think that you yeah. lose your street cred immediately. Maybe I thought I was. thought she was talking Robin Hood personally. I, I thought think. it was brave that you saw Bill Russ bomb with the exact same joke <laughs> and decided to do it 45 <laughs> minutes later. <laughs> Gotta stop doing Bill Russ. Russ's act. Did you Did you watch the rest of the show? No. Oh, well. I was watching the of. debate. Hey, you want to fuck Lindsay? What? Right? Jesus, Pat, there you're was, throwing oh, everybody yeah. under oh buses there today. Was That's a guy Is that true? That came up here and did a basically <laughs> oh a similar version of the first joke he did. About Little John? But ab about like using slang and all yeah. that. Yeah, and, and it oh. did, didn't really work out the best. Yeah. I think what it was more rooted is like looking at millennial culture and then having to explain to your children what good millennial music culture. Because yeah. I was thinking like, what is millennial culture? And that was the first thing that came to my head. Little yeah, John. I once saw. I was I once. I get low that song. Yeah. I, don't know. I was once at a party and Lil John was at the party and. Everybody was like, holy shit, Lil John's here. And then he performed in the party. The place we were at was this huge country music stars super mansion in Nashville. A guy named John Rich. And, uh, oh, big and rich, we're all aware. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and one side of, uh, of this like house of blues that he has on the third floor of this crazy mansion is uh, just one big showroom. But one side of it is all windows in which you could see all of Nashville, all of downtown's down there, and the other side's walls. And he performed that fucking Windows to the Walls song, and the place went nuts. <laughs> it's one of those, not really that funny, but it's just one of those stories where, like, we were literally, everybody, you could tell everybody was, like, into the song, but everybody's also like, can you fucking believe there's windows and walls? What the fuck is happening, man? It's all windows and all walls. While listening to the music, it was mind-blowing. One of those, like, total eclipses. But anyway, so you know, like I mean, I don't know. What did then the, the, the handicap stall thing? That's a, that's there's sort of something there for sure. Yeah, you know, Willie thoughts, Vanessa Johnson. Uh, no, I get what you're trying to do with the first joke. Uh, like the music you listen to, the yet explaining to your kids. This is how I met whoever, or whatever. Right. Um, I don't know. I feel like Lil John is so played though. Like that's like you hear that so much. Like there's like another rapper there somewhere, like mystical or something. You know. That's better. And I. And you, yeah, you, you know what I mean. It was just okay. No, <laughs> you listen. Up. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> you listen to a lot of hip hop. <laughs> uh, Obviously why, why not. You, you said that so white. Why are you <laughs> laughing like that? Why is that so funny? Because <laughs> you said it so white. It was funny. Do you listen to, to a lot of the hip hop? <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. That was kind of like a cornerstone growing up. Are we all gonna pretend that I didn't say the comment that I said? I feel like you're. I feel like you're trying to facilitate something, and my boyfriend's no. black, so if there's me threesome, it's probably gonna be. No, she. One. The way the way the way I heard it. Uh, 
<laughs> oh shit! One of my favorite things in all of comedy, the waves from the hit show Roast Battle on Comedy Central just made a guest appearance. Oh shit! This party's out of control. Vanessa Johnston just blew the top off of the show. <laughs> Holy shit! This long brewing rivalry between you and Pat Reagan, and you just took him to the fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> in one swoop. That was so like fucking Game of Thrones. Uh, what's that? Queen Xerxes. You just fucking burnt down the entire kingdom. Can I just say, this is the sexiest Ivanka has ever looked. <laughs> Who? What? She just took Pat from the window to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was awesome. And with that, she probably gets to, uh, to, 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 yeah, be done. Right. Yeah. Anything else, Pat? <laughs> Vanessa Johnson, there she goes. <laughs> Fun episode tonight, huh? Uh, I love uh, I love this girl. You do too. You know where you love her. Here she is, Allie Makovsky. Thank you. Uh, I used to work at a movie theater. It was like super pretentious. Before a movie would start, one of the employees would have to go in front of the audience, say the name of the movie, who's in it, how long the movie is, like this whole spiel about the movie. One time when I first started working there, they were like, hey, Allie, do you want to greet a movie? And I was like, yeah, sure. They're like, okay, you're going to be in the dome. It seats 800 people. It's a sold-out show. You have to use a microphone. I was like, got it. So I get up there, and I'm like, hey, how's everyone doing? Dead silence. And so then I'm like, woo! <laughs> and then it was even quieter. So I was just like, get ready for Schindler's List. <laughs> and then the crowd went wild. <laughs> and then my manager from work died and I wasn't really that close with him, but I went to the funeral just to show face. And everyone's walking into the funeral and all of a sudden I'm just like, hey, thanks for coming to Greg's funeral. It has a runtime of about an hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> It stars Greg. <laughs> Spoiler wow. alert, he was dead the whole time. Allie Mikofsky. She's on a killing spree, God, ladies and gentlemen. Killing it. She's on a hot streak. We yeah. know that you did work at a movie theater, so all that shit's real enough. It's very real. Have you seen Allie Mikofsky before, Mike? Yeah, this yeah. Is, okay, perfect. Yeah, it was good. Thank it was you. really funny, yeah. I, and I, can, I bet she's even better, too, a longer time, because you can like sit on those jokes a little bit yeah. more. Yeah. Uh, I, I can see you doing that act out without actually explaining it then i have to you just actually just jump into it you know you do it like are you guys ready you know yeah. I, it's very funny i, I laughed a lot i will i will say that was it uh did they show old films no so schindler's list you are what 21 that yeah. came out in 1993 yeah sure now imagine if a whole room of mike lawrence's i.e autistic people were watching that <laughs> i know they would heckle the fuck before. out of you someone has mentioned it before so you should Look at movies now. Find the newest depressing one. They're always yep. making them. Yeah, what would it be right but now? But did they re they re-released it in well, 3D recently, didn't they? Who's the point and not <laughs> stop it? <laughs> Red Band. I think. I think. Win. You know, if you said like 12 Years a Slave, which you were great as an extra in. Oh. Um, oh shit. Oh. It was one of the years. Uh, no. Oh. Um, <laughs> I did yeah. kill him in that Hey, movie. Mike Lawrence, you're great in Cloverfield Lane as one of John Goodman's moles. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Jeremiah's shown a little roast battle muscle You there. don't mess with Willie Hunter. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't say anything about you guys that Twitter already hasn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, great true. stuff. Another new minute from the great Allie Mikofsky. There she Wake goes. Up, Allie. She's on Twitter. Allie Makovsky, that's her. You know it. I'm digging deep in the bucket for one more. You guys want to do one more or what? <laughs> going to get through it nice and quick. And it's going to be, this looks definitely like a new name. I'm excited about this. Ivan Ishkov. Oh, please be here. Please tell me you're here. Ivan Ishkov. Was that the villain in Rocky IV? Oh, please tell me you're here. Oh, that is such a cool name. Ivan Ishkov. Wow. 
Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, I am, I'm, I know by the name now who's going to be fucking insane and not. All right, let's try Han King, Han Kim, Hang Kim, yeah. Han Kim. Yeah. Hey, guys. It's good to be here. I don't like carpool lanes. I feel like carpool lanes like society. Say, hey, you know how you're lonely? Yeah, do it for longer now. Take the long way home. Think about it. Watch people with friends whizzing by you. <laughs> WTF society. Uh, this girl was like, my vagina is a 3D printer. I was like, that's not even accurate. Okay, your womb is a 3D printer. Your vagina is a tray. <laughs> Schematically. It's not even a very good 3D printer. It only prints one thing with lots of errors. Yeah. <laughs> takes nine months to print and the whole time it's printing it's complaining <laughs> WTF women alright that's my time thank you I'm going right. to tell you this immediately is that you know thank god he was good because we ran through every Asian stereotype an <laughs> hour ago <laughs> That was so, good, man. Yeah, that was amazing. Good. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, four years. Where are you from? Seattle. How long have you been here? Uh, just days. visiting. Yeah. yeah. Just and then you got to go back. Yeah. You're hilarious. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The 3D printer joke's amazing. And what I love about it, and this is going to sound a little bit racist, but you're really like, I love hearing an Asian talk, you know, sort of like, I mean, you guys are, you guys are good in both, obviously, medical fields and technology. <laughs> and... To hear you, it only like, became racist when you said obviously. Grand Torino, <laughs> I thought it was Wait, Grand Torino was, too. He did not say racist, racist at all. But. It was a compliment. <laughs> and when you people, <laughs> uh, is there any chance we can convince you to uh, to move your lips and in, uh, in uh, you want to say you want to say hello for a second, uh, Tam Fam? No, not when they're good. <laughs> oh Jesus, Mike! You know, Yikes! Yeah. I'm not an Uncle Chang. Yeah! Oh, I love that. Sure. Uh, so, Hang Kim, uh, tell us something else interesting about you before you go. Uh, my name is Hans Kim. That's interesting. Very good. Uh, <laughs> well, your Hans writing is pretty fucking terrible. How about that? <laughs> Piece of shit. Are you? Uh, you're, you're from. You're from Seattle, and yeah. you're, you're here for a little bit. Are you thinking about moving down here? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Join you, crazy people. You're hilarious. I really hope you do. Thanks for coming on the show. We You're got our guy guy. There he goes. Hans Kim. Follow him on Twitter at Hans Kim Five. His S's look like G's. The drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt. That happened while you were sitting here tonight. We love him. All his prints. Holy fucking shit. That's an incredible one. Get the Kill Tony poster. Get tonight's print. Whatever you want. Reagan Watkins. Josh Martin comic with me October 8th at the Wilbur Theater. R Jeremiah Watkins. Hit me up online at Jeremiah Stand Up. Watch the Eric Andre show every Friday night on Adult Swim. Joel Jimenez is mostly sorry. We absolutely love him. Killed it tonight. Willie Hunter. I'm happy to announce that the Carmichael show will start back up next Monday. Uh, so look for season you three. You heard soon. it right from the co creator's mouth. Coming back next Sunday, make sure you watch on NBC. The great no, Mike Lawrence. Uh, thanks, man. Uh, you can see me on uh, MikeLawrenceComedy.com. All my dates. I'm on tour. So check that out, please. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Come see us. We're in Houston at the uh, Come and Take It Festival yeah. in November. It's going to be great. That's going to be fun. Doing a Kill Tony there. And um, what else? Uh, Brea, California this weekend, Ontario next month. Australia, Australia, Australia. I'm with you at the end of October. Thank you so much, live audience. Have a great night. Thank you. Good night.
you can. 